Hey guys, welcome back again to our YouTube channel. As usual, I'm going to give you a quick reminder about our YouTube channel. So, it is an educational channel dedicated to students from the 7th form till the baccalaureate. Here you can find videos on different subjects like mathematics, physics, science, IT, languages, etc. Uh, you can also visit our platform at www.lvaacademy.com to check on more lessons and exercises. Of course, you can find uh, the corrections for those who are already subscribed. Uh, today's lesson is dedicated to the 7th form. Ali's house. And today's lesson, we're going to focus on writing part exactly. So, we're going to see how to describe a room or a house in general, okay? So, let's start. So, how to describe your house? There are a few things you should mention. So, first of all, you need to talk about the different parts of the house. So, the rooms, etc. Uh, like bedroom, living room, kitchen bathroom, garage, uh, you can also uh, mention other rooms like study or a dining room, if you have a dining room, of course. What else? You can talk about the size. Our house is big, our house is large, or it is small, it is tiny. Location. Where is it? So here we're going to use the prepositions of place. If you're talking about a room or furniture, you need to talk about their place. For example, on the left, on the right, between, in front of, next to, in the corner. So let me explain more. So here on the left, on the left, on the right, between, بين, for example, uh, um, the, the desk is between the bed and the wardrobe. Desk, the bureau, موجود, نقوله, the bureau, موجود, بين الفرج والغلاس. The desk is between the wardrobe and the bed. In front of, مقابل, حاجة مقابلة, next to, بجانبي, in the corner, حاجة في الزاوية. Okay? What else? You can talk about the furniture. Like, bed, shelves, wardrobe, nice stand, pictures, table, desk. Here, as you can see, the furniture furniture here uh, mainly uh, uh, the furniture uh, which are found in the bedroom. Since we're going to describe the bedroom, so hatina uh, hne the furniture ili khosubitno. If you're going to, for example, improve the room, you can make them bish tosfu bitzala. So again, you need to mention furniture that are found in the living room like sofa, TV, uh, carpet, etc. So, other descriptions. You can say our house is old-fashioned or modern. You can also describe your house as simple or comfortable. Okay? Now let's move on to describing a specific room here. We have a picture, which is a picture of a bedroom. And we're going to describe it. So, let's see here. This is my bedroom. It is not very big but it is comfortable 
and I always keep it clean and neat. So this is a bedroom. We talked here about the size. It is not very big. Mehish kbira barsha, but it is comfortable. Well, it looks like a, a comfortable room, okay? Here are less comfortable. Into kito zvilha, muriha, ndifa, ukul shay mratab. So I always keep it clean and neat. So this is the first sentence. It has a big window. Of course, lehni. We should mention there is and there are. Bish nahki wa ala haja mufrda. Hunaka haja mufrda. There is. Bish nahki wa fil jama. We say there are. So here we have just one window. So there is a window or here. I wrote, it has a big window. Location of the window here, it is on the left. So, it has a big window on the left that overlooks the city. So, here, الشباك المنظر يطل على المدينة. شوفوا التصوير هنا. يعني, the view من الشباك يطل على Medina. The view is amazing at night. يعني ال المنظر يكون مزيان في الليل. بينسوا نشوفوا لهني شنو الصورة اللي تعطيها لنا الشباك في الليل. صورة المدينة العمارات لكل الأضواء يعني it is a nice view. In front of the window, مقابل الشباك. There is, again, there is a double-sized bed. Double-sized bed. يعني هذا فرش يعني كما نقوله فرش بلاستيك. So, in front of the window, there is a double-sized bed located between two nightstands. هذا double-sized bed located موجود between ديما نذكر بتوين تبش نحكي على حاجتين بتوين two night stands هذو ما night stands this is the first one and this is the second night stands بالعربي ما نعرفش بالعربي أما اللي يديو بحذاء الفرش um, here uh, you can also mention if you want to mention there is an alarm clock above the night stand yeah, you can say on or above. Above the bed, هذا البيت. مش نحكي على هذا المزوج. So location of the home above. So above the bed, there are few pictures and shelves. Few pictures عن هذا المتصور. And shelves, الرفوف. So, Dima, not items, not location of their Location above the bed. So, above the bed, there are a few pictures and shelves where I put. So, where I put my favorite books. Shelves, Haduma, put them in the book. Let's continue. On the right, حكينا left. Donc, uh, normal mo el far show of the west. هذا ال ال اليسار وهذا اليمين. حكينا on the left عنا الشباك. On the right, up. لهنا. On the right stands an elegant table. عنا this is a table. عطيناها وصف elegant. أنا elegant. Table and vase on it. Taula and a vase. Okay. There is also a drawer. Hevea. This is a drawer. Next to the window. 
and the grey rug laid on the floor. نعاودو الجملة ونفهموها مليح. There is also a drawer. هذا. This is a drawer next to the window. دونك استعملنا on the left. استعملنا on the right. استعملنا between, above. توا نستعملو next to بجانبي. The drawer is next to the window. And a grey rug. This is the rug. الزربية هذية. Led on the floor. يعني زربية مفروشة على الأرضية. So, uh, نعود نقرأ الباراجراف. This is my bedroom. It is not very big, but it is comfortable. And I always keep it clean and neat. It has a big window on the left that overlooks the city. The view is amazing at night. In front of the window, there is a double-sized bed located between two nice stands. Above the bed, there are few pictures and shelves where I put my favorite books. On the right stands an elegant table and a vase on it. There is also a drawer next to the window and a gray rug laid on the floor. Okay, so, لهنا باش نثبتو في الباراجراف. Again, نذكركم. To describe your room, you need to mention um, uh, the furniture and the location. نحكيو على الأثاث والبلاصة متاع وين. So, to talk about the location, you need to uh, write preposition of place. So, نرجعو للباراجراف متاعنا ونشوفو ال prepositions here. So, uh, عنا on the right, on the left. Okay. Anna in front of. Anna between. Um, above, Fauka. On the right. And here, of course, on, on, يعني على أو فوق, there is also draw next to. And here again, on the floor. Okay, so you always need to mention uh, the name of the item and its location. So, uh, this is the end of our lesson. I hope it is clear enough. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. See you next time.